Hi, my name is Wendy Hart from Hamburg. Um, I just wanted to talk about, I don't know what the big deal is about this. Um, I'm trying to get over the stigma. Everybody needs to get over the stigma that's attached to this plant. It's, uh, there's so much hypocrisy that people are smoking it everywhere, yet it's still illegal. Compassionate Care Act has failed. I've been trying since January. Um, I still am jumping through hoops and trying to get the medicine that I need. Um, but yeah, if this was something other than cannabis, if it was a different plant, call it um, St. Mary Jane's wort or something, some new plant that had the healing properties, um, you know, that maybe Dr. What's it? The um, talk show host could talk about this new healing plant. If it was anything other than cannabis, you know everybody would be, you know, rushing, uh, rushing there faster than Black Friday sales to glamour and get the medicine and uh, get the plant uh, and smoke it or eat it or uh, vape it or put it in a lotion or bathe in it because yes you can put cannabis uh, extract in bath salts just like Epsom salts. There's so many things that can be done with this plant and it's our right to have this plant. Uh, it should be rescheduled, yes. The federal government doesn't want to listen. Governor Cuomo and Commissioner Health Commissioner Zucker don't want to listen. They're sticking their fingers in their ears and saying that the Compassionate Care Act is, is working and it's slow going and be, please be patient. Well, we're sick of being patient. There's still kids out there that are having seizures, life-threatening seizures every single day that don't have this medicine. And the ones that do are paying up to $2,000 out of pocket just to get the medicine. These parents should be able to grow a plant in their tomato garden that can help save their kids, that aside from, from the medical aspect of it. Um, I'm trying to get past the stigma. My kids, nine-year-old twins here, they know all about it. They've seen everything on the news. They watch the documentaries with me. They've seen the Colorado, um, you know, the growth in Colorado, all the all the products that are available, such as the, um, the edibles and so forth and everything that is available in other states that are legalizing. And they also see me with fibromyalgia, post-chemo uh, issues, and many fatigue issues. They mostly see me in bed every day. They see me in more in bed than out of bed. So this... Um, Medicine, this plant, should be descheduled, should be legalized, it could be regulated and taxed, and it, it could be such a benefit for Buffalo that I wish something could really be done, to, some resolution to move forward, to work around, um, work around the Compassionate Care Act. Uh, since there is no dispensary in the city of Buffalo, there's only two dispensaries. They're both in Williamsville. Um, I'm wondering if something can be done through the city charter to maybe encourage some other growth, along with decriminalizing, um, you know, encourage some other type of legalization for personal use and get over the stigma. Everybody needs to get over the stigma. It's just a plant, and most people smoke it and don't admit it, so let's get past that.